Alright, as you can see behind me, we came back with over 20 fire ant arts, and we'll get ready to clean them up right now. Stay tuned. <music> fun of the fire ant art is when you get home you really don't know what they look like until you actually blast them off with the hose they could just be all solid metal it could be nice pieces of uh, tunnels going up and down you just don't know so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take the hose and we're gonna clean them off and I'm gonna film what they look like because I, I don't know until you blast them off and look at see what they look like so let's get started right now it's gonna be fun here we go all right this is a good example look it's just solid mud because you know that's how they come out of the ground. You don't know what it's gonna look like until you do this. And expose the beauty. Let's take a quick look at this one. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Isn't it? Look at that. Had a rocket. No, that's that's mud still. Let's clean that out a little bit right here. Okay, now it's getting clean. Look at that. That is beautiful. Isn't it? As y'all saw when I started, it was nothing but a big chunk of mud. We still got a couple spots to get out, but look at that. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Now look at this right here. See this right here? This is gonna crack off. I can't save it. It's too. Sometimes it's very fragile. That one's, I lost it, but it's still beautiful. Look at that. That is awesome. What we'll have to do on this particular one, sometimes you have a nice base. This one, we definitely have to cut it down, make a nice smooth surface for it to set on. We've still got a lot of work to do on this one, but it's looking nice. Y'all ready to try another one? Let's do it. All right, this one looks like it's going to be a little bit fragile, but I don't know inside here what it's going to look like yet, so let's clean it up. Wow, yeah, so this one could be fragile a little bit. You see, you got one little piece holding this one, but it's pretty solid though, so I think it's gonna be good. We'll be able to set that down. That is gonna be cool. Look, that is gonna be a pretty one right there. You just never know what you're gonna got until you clean them up. We got, you know, it's still a lot of work you gotta do to them to get them right, but man, it's amazing. It's like, it's like metal detecting. You don't know what you're gonna end up with. You just don't know, no. Beautiful. This one looks like it's gonna be right pretty. Even though it's kind of filled in, I don't know if we'll be able to see through it when we're done or not. But let's give it a try right now. Here we go. Let's see, we got a root going all the way through it. We'll have to slowly get that cut out of it. But it's going to be a beautiful one. I like it a lot. We've got to go on the other side, though, and clean the other side now. Let's check it out. Yeah. That's going to be pretty. Oh, we do have a couple rocks in, that are lodged in here. It, oh, that one came right out. There's one in there I will not be able to get out right there. So that's going to be part of the sculpture right there. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. 
All right, let's keep, let's go try another one. Y'all ready? Let's do it. All right, I like this one. It's kind of standing up on its own, but I'm not sure what it's look like when we clean it off. Let's give it a try. I'm liking it. I'm liking it right there. Let's see what we got here. If we set it over here. All right. This one, this one is setting up really nice. I did use some aluminum spray paint, you know, to kind of make it all look good when I'm done because the, uh, because of the, uh, you know, the, you get a little bit of dirt and all just burn into it. But this one will be good. We'll have to do some a little bit of leveling on the bottom of that one. But other than that, we'll get that cut down. It's going to look good. I like it. All right, this is probably one of the biggest ones we did today right here. It's going to take a little while to clean this one off. It. I think this will be more, uh, with more aluminum inside of it than probably. I don't know yet, though. Well, it came through pretty good up there. You can see, through. oh, this is looking good over here. I like the way that's looking. Oh, yeah. That is uh, looking like a nice, I uh, can see through it really well. I like it, when you, I like it when you kind of see through it like that. When I create these art objects, you just never know what they're going to look like until you clean them up and finish all the preparations for them and all. So that's part of the process you got to go through. Sometimes there'll be stuff way in the center of these that you got to pick out. Like roots and stuff, but depending on how much I like to see them more clean looking when I do it. So we gotta turn this one over and clean it out. This one I know has got a lot on the back side of it. Yeah, I'm not sure this one will sit up like that probably, but it's looking good. It's beautiful. Look at that. I like it. Alright, let's move to another one. Alright, let's see what this one does. I see some nice tunnels in there. I'm hoping that clears up right there where it goes right there. Yeah, so it looks like, oh yeah, you can see right through it now, look at that. That's what I want to see right there. That's going to be a pretty one, because I like it when you see all those tunnels up there right there. I like it. Now, some people like it the other way, but I kind of like seeing all the, the tunnels come up from the bottom up. Oh, that's got, actually going down, un, this is further underground here, actually, technically. Let's see a little closer view here. Oh. All right. That. I really do like this one. This one is a nice one. I like it, especially when it's got multiple columns coming up like that. You see all the different tunnel situations in there where they, they were staying. And that's going to sit up nice and flat when we get it fixed up. That's going to be a pretty one. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed cleaning some of these up. we still got a long way to go. Um, I'll put on fast motion maybe and let you all kind of... I think that's going to do it for right now. Uh, we'll do another video showing how we actually fix them structurally so they can stand up straight and uh, sit beautiful in your house. And I have to, some of the final finishing touches on them. Wow, awesome. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share. Subscribe to Gig Master, and they will be available on my Etsy site. And I'll put a link to it in my video description. Thanks for coming along.